You have to unmute. <laughs> I've been unmuted for ages. It works every single time on you. You were so quiet, I really thought that you had forgotten to unmute. I know. So I'm listening to the same bit over and over again. Hi, Ritu. The life started now. We just had a timer on. We just you know, had, yeah. Can I hear something funny? Yeah. All the way through the timer, we had lots of people, and now we've come on, they're all buggered off. I know. I noticed that. <laughs> they didn't want to talk to us. They just realised who it was. <laughs> Oh dear, I don't know. Oh, how is it? How is Ritu? Is it Ritu? Ritu. Ritu. Is it Ritu? Are we pronouncing your name correctly? No, 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 no. Right, okay. I have no idea. But I know one thing, it's getting a bit chillier here than I thought it was. Yeah, I've had to shut my back door because it's been wide open since I've got up. Mm. Can, can you actually see me? God, my hair's a mess. Yes. Oh, well done you for getting all the admin done. Thank you. That's okay. Um... Mm. Yes, yeah, so... Hopefully we'll get some wonderful, well, we, we always do. We always get people turning up and saying hello and, you know, in and out and in and out. Yeah. There's some great readings for some great people today, as normal. And uh, get that yeah. energy, get that energy level going. Yeah, um, I'm all ready to have a big chat and um, for us to do some readings for people. Yeah. What do we want to talk about? Elephants? I don't know. And how big their trunks are? What made you think of elephants? I have no idea. Elephants just suddenly came into my mind. Isn't ah. it strange? And we're talking about elephants' trunks and how big they are. But, uh, <coughs> ooh. yes, it, it, it's strange that, uh, well, no, it's not strange. It's Thursday morning. I keep forgetting what day it is. Yeah, because on, on my radio this morning, yeah. And I don't like talking about this, but do you know what they've been talking about? I can what, imagine. <laughs> what, what people were doing the week before lockdown. Oh, really? On, on when we heard that we were being locked down. Oh, okay. Yeah, and their stories. Oh, I was doing this, I was doing that. It's like, oh. where, were, where were you when you met Elvis? <laughs> It sounds a bit like that, doesn't it? Mm. Where we, um, it's like it was something, you know, I think most people were panic buying. <laughs> I think so. I think so. But uh, that's all we're going to do about that. That's all I wanted to say. It just needed yeah. to come out and just yeah. see what people thought. But I don't think we've got anyone on at the moment, are we? Ritu, whereabouts are you from? Are we pronouncing your name correctly? I, I know. Oh, hello. Hi, hi Teresa. <gasps> Which Teresa is that? <laughs> I know we've got, well, we did have three people. Uh, well, we've got three people on. Yep. How are you? All you three, four people. Hope you're well. Go, don't forget. Uh, to share to share our page, you know, so that um, you've got a better chance of, um, you know, us being guided towards you for a reading. Yeah, what Paul's trying to say is if you'd like a, a mini reading, um, please share our live. Uh, you'll receive a mini reading if you've shared our live and we're drawn to you. Um, so if you'd like a, a mini reading or two, please share our live. Hi, Elaine, how are you? What is that for the posh people? Because I'm sure people in Britain would have understood what I said. 
<laughs> Hi, Elaine. You'll find that once um, you've shared our live, it'll show share above your name. And um, what we're also doing today or on this live, um, if anyone would like to participate, um, if you've got a Zoom login and you'd like to come on the Zoom live for a mini reading, um, please send a message to this page on Messenger and let us know that you have a Zoom login and that you'd like a mini reading on the Zoom live. Um, to be eligible for this, you will need to have made a donation. And I've actually pinned the donation button in the comments below. Mm -hmm. um, but um, if you would like the private reading with either Paul or myself, uh, just please message this page and let us know who you'd like to have a reading with. We will let you know or we'll send you the details of the readings or what's involved with them and um, how they work. And you'll um and then we can schedule an appointment for you yep. but um i'll be posting the links to both our pages anyway a little bit in a little while definitely i'm, I'm just going through the comments and is that Risha? is that is it risha how you pronounce that hello risha um nice to see you um elaine nice to see you too um, Hi, Richie. If you stay on i'm gonna do a, a mini reading oh. for you Sarah two shared, so I'm just going to do a mini reading. We, we've so, got Kaz has turned up. Hi, Kaz. Good morning, Good morning Kaz. Hope you're well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we do um, on a Thursday morning, we go, it's early for me, but late for Silvana, you know, and the rest of the other days, it's late for me early for savannah so um yeah well it, it works both ways so so you know it, it's just it's just the best times that we can fit in for both of us so that's just the way it works but we love to meet you all anyway thank you everyone for sharing and <gasps> morning sunshine on a rainy day. Ritu, oh. I'm pulling out. Um, I'm pulling out some cards for you. Do, do you know, Kaz? Right. We haven't got no sunshine. We've just got the drizzle, the rain, the cloud. We've got it. We've got everything else apart from sunshine. I think we might probably have some uh, some snow later. Knowing knowing our luck, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Because it's supposed to be about 13, 14 degrees today, supposedly. Mm. Supposedly, you know, but it's going to be uh, whatever it is, we can't change it. Oh, it's better. But we'll just get on with it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Th thank you for that, Kaz. We're, we're, the, we're the sunshine on Kaz's day. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Lovely. You're Thank our sunshine for joining us, and Ratu as well, and all the others that have joined us. Definitely, definitely. I know people keep going in and out of the the live, but you know we're not scary. We're just here to do some good for people. You know, we're here to uh, help. Yep. Yeah, uh, Elaine wants to know the difference between tarot cards and oracle cards. Okay. I'll just be a sec. I'm just concentrating on the two and I'll answer that. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, for some reason today, it's just, it does, it does feel so, so chilled. And it normally is anyway. We have a laugh, we have a joke, but we, we try and bring, you know, if people are having a bad day, we try and bring that energy, great energy in, but make it so calm that you go away and all you want to do is snore after you've finished. <laughs> oh, Anna's here. Hello, Anna. Um, hope you are well. I said that really slow, didn't I? Yeah, I hope you're well. 
and you're having a great day, night, wherever you're from. I can't remember. All. I can never remember. The only one I can remember is Kaz, because I know she lives in, in the UK. <laughs> so <laughs> I do apologise, everybody else. Oh, Colleen, let's turn yeah, it off. Yeah. Um, I wasn't that asked that question yet. Um, Elaine, what the difference is, is with the tarot cards, um, you have four suits. You've got the cups, the wands, the swords and the pentacles, and then you've got the major arcana. And with tarot, it is quite, I mean, you do use your intuition, but the, it is disciplined. Um, <clears throat> it's very disciplined as in, you know, to read them. Um, you do need to follow. It's like a rule. But with oracle cards, um, like I'll show you, like these, for example, they they don't, there's no suit, there's no actual, you do get guidebooks with them. But what I do is I um, read them intuitively. I go by, like, I just look at them and things stand out to me. Um, because, like, one card could have many meanings and something about it will stand up and all of a sudden in my mind's eye I'll see something. So that's how I prefer Oracle because I'm not restricted to following a, a rule. Um, I'm basically using my intuition and what comes to me from the cards. So that, that's really what the difference mm -hmm. is. Um, hi, Christy, Colleen, Anna. <laughs> Yes, uh, I didn't see Christy. Hello, Christy. I hope you're, you're well too. Um, yeah, I'm fine. Well, you know, but, uh, you know, that's normal. You've got to be fine so that we're fine for you beautiful people out there, you know, and our, our job that we do gets better every time because we see new people coming on to our shows. Yeah, hopefully we will get some more new people coming on to the shows, but that's down to whoever finds us. Yeah. You know? Ritu, are you still on, Ritu? Because I've pulled out some cards for you. Is she still in, Ritu? No? Wait. Just wait to see if she's still there. Yeah, I'm... Um, just look in as well, because it'd be nice to see her come up and do our first reading of the day, because, you know, being drawn to her and she shared and all that. Thank you. Um, oh, maybe she's not there anymore. No. Oh, we've got, we've got Risha, definitely. Um. I don't think she's there anymore. Uh, oh, oh, no, yeah, she's there. Yeah, she's there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Ritu, this is what I've got for you. Now, I, I've pulled out the nurture card for you. And this nurture card, uh, for me looking at it for you, is um, like the child from this card. You'll see like a child in the middle in the middle there. For me, the child really stands out. And, and what this is telling me for you is that um, you know, a, as you would look after a child, you know, nurturing a child, you need to nurture your inner child. Um, it, it's um, it's very, very important that you are looking after yourself and you're nurturing that inner child within you. Now, um, I'm guided to let you know that, um, or to tell you to like open your arms um, and release, open your arms and release um, anything that you feel is uh, restricting you or, or binding you. So I feel like um, I feel like you're being restricted in some way. Um, you you have like a weight on you, and I, you need to open your arms and just release it or let it all go. It's very important, and also to nurture the your inner child within you. Um, you know, you, you're just. Um, <clears throat> 
spend some time in nature and um, within the environment, um, but uh, also surrender your inner child to um, and yourself to play. Um, it takes some enjoyment in the things that you're doing. It's like you're, you're really, really serious. And I feel like you need to open your arms and just let it all go. Um, you know, enjoying everything, it rejuvenates you. Uh, so, and is uplifting. But um, I've pulled out this card for you as well, which I love this card here. You'll see the, the lady there really relaxed and sitting like on a, a throne and enjoying herself. And this is all about slowing down and celebrating yourself. So um, this is all I've really got for you, Ritu. Um, I hope that this helps you and that it resonates for you, but Paul will see what he can get for you. Mm. <coughs> that was good. Well done, thank you. Hello, Ritu, nice to see you. Um, are you uh, I'm just wondering if you're new to the to our little show, but uh, if you're not, I do apologise. I can't remember everybody's name, but let's see what we can get for you. Let's see what see what um, I can pick up for you, and yeah, let's just enjoy it. <sighs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Right, the first thing I'm getting with yourself, Ritu, is just to calm, calm yourself down, okay? Because what you're looking for is in the background at the moment, okay? It's just in the background to, yeah, it's like you're just missing it. It's like you're just missing your, um, <sighs> What, yeah, this like I say, that thing you're looking for is, is just there and you're just missing it. It's like your eye line. It's like you you go over it. You know, you're looking around the room and then all of a sudden, nope. It, it's, like, it's like you go over that part of that room and you just keep missing it. You know, open your eyes to find this, what you're looking for. Okay. <sighs> Because the love of what you're looking for, okay, will come through once you see it. Once you see what you were searching for, it will just, it will be like a door opens and it will be like a wave of heat. Or, you know, like if you get off a plane and you go into a hot country or a cold country or whatever, whichever way it works, you it's like you'll just suddenly feel a wave of happiness come over you and a difference that you've never felt before okay yeah because this will be something that would be amazing for you but amazing for a lot of other people too you will understand that you are going through certain things at the moment but you will find that once you start giving yourself out there a bit more all of what you're looking for will happen and open your eyes to what is there okay if you give yourself a little bit more you know because i do believe that you can do what we do you've got a bit of a spiritual mind in you okay and you need to take that spiritual mind and start to utilize it with others okay yeah but never take away um, from yourself because if you're taking away from yourself I know this is a bit strange the way I'm saying it but if you're taking away from yourself you're never ever going to see your journey the way you want to see it okay it's like you're you want to you want to give, but you're taking too much away. It's like you're sitting back and you can't, you can't move yourself forward. Okay, it feel I, I, to me it actually feels like you feel that you're throwing everything away. 
Okay, it just feels like you're throwing everything away that you've worked for, but you haven't. It's it's still inside you. You're just not seeing it. Okay, you're just not seeing what the where it is, and you just need to open your eyes and find it. Yeah, so that you can open that door and close what's behind you. Okay, and close that door behind that other door behind you and just move forward because so many people do this they don't notice what's around them and if you don't notice what's around you then then you will you'll 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 go through life missing everything missing all these answers to all these questions that you keep asking okay but you've got to make sure that you're when you move forward, everything is in the right place. Okay, make sure that everything is in the right place. Everything, what, what you, you've got to make sure. As I, this is my analogy, that the jigsaw pieces are in the right places, because if they're not in the right places, it's not going to work. So you basically have got to take your time, slow down a bit, stop rushing everything. Okay, stop rushing and concentrate on one thing at a time because these challenges that are being given to you will help you to find and open your eyes to what is coming to you. Okay, I, like I say, there are people, not just from the spirit world, there are people out there that are offering their help, but you know, just to guide you into a situation where you'll think wow why didn't i do this before why didn't i do this before but you'll be you'll be fine okay well i'm going to leave it there because we're only mini readings okay but i want you to continue being yourself but open yourself up a bit more to what's around you and notice more what's around you okay so thank you, Richard. Thank you so much for letting us read you. And uh, if that resonates with yourself, please let us know. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> you still there, Savannah? Yeah, um, you're most welcome, Ritu. I, I hope that that helps you. And I just want to say hello to Tisha. Um, I don't think I've seen Tisha on here before. I've noticed Stephanie as well. She's here. Yes, Elaine. I've Steph. Yeah, hi, Steph. Um, uh, I, yeah, I just wanted to let everybody know just while Paul was doing the reading, um, I've um, pasted a link to our YouTube channel, um, which we go live on from time to time. Um, the same format that we do here on Facebook. You know, we have a chat and we do some readings. If you'd like to join us when we go live on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel, um, with um, which I've put in the comments there. Don't forget to also click on the bell so that um, you're notified when we go live. And I've also pasted the links to our pages. So if you would like a private reading with myself or with Paul, you can even just message this page and let us know who you'd like a, to have a reading with. And we'll send you the details of how the readings work and schedule an appointment for you. Mm. But um, what no. we were... Sorry? No, sorry, I am talking to myself then. <laughs> <laughs> what we're... Um, uh, tonight, uh, today on this live, if you've got a, a Zoom login and you'd like to come on, on with us on live for a mini reading and we'll do it for you live. So we'll actually see you and um, I'll be able to like really connect with you. If you'd like to do that and you've got a Zoom login, if you don't, um, you don't, all it is is you just go to Zoom and create a login. You just need your email address and a pass, create a password. There's no subscription or anything. Um, if you do that, 
send a message to this page and let us know that you'd like to, um, you, you've set up a, a login and you'd like to come on for a, a mini reading. The only, um, you just need to be, to be eligible for it. Um, you just need to have made a donation and um, the donation button has been pinned in the comments below. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to say thank you to uh, Richie for her uh, message. Of thank you for letting us read you. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming to our little show. And thank you to everybody else. As yeah. uh, you know, as Kaz has been doing, you know, she's welcoming everyone. Yeah, Kaz is our hostess. <laughs> yeah, thank you to her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Hostess um, with hostess. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, that's what we are. We, you know, we try and make every let everybody interact with everybody else. It's like a little chat room, but we do the readings on the yeah in the background. You know, yeah. it's like the band that goes on the stage. <laughs> okay, um, I was just going to check. Uh, Tisha has shared our page, uh, our live. Uh, would you? I think are you still on? Would you like me to do a mini reading for you? Scooby -doo, Scooby -doo. Yeah. Right. Great. There she is. Okay. I'm going to pull out some cards for you. Um, I'll just pull out some cards while I do that. Paul's going to explain um, about our Zoom thing that we want, we like to offer you guys. Oh, no, I'm doing something else at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yes. Hang on a second. So I'm on a different page. I do apologise. Um, yeah, because I was sorting something out. Yes, with our, with our Zoom, okay, with our Zoom, if you have a Zoom login and you would like to come on to Zoom, you know, live for a mini reading with us, okay, please send us a message to this page on Messenger and let us know that you have, you know, let us know that you have a Zoom login, okay? And that you would like a mini reading, okay? To be eligible for this though, you will need to have made a donation, okay? Uh, the donation button is printed in the comments, okay? If you could do that for us, and, and and the way we look at it is we can, when we do get people coming on Zoom, okay, with us, we actually get that better connection. Also, we get, um, it, it's just, it just seems better, and that person will be famous for five, you know, they'll be famous because they'll be able to show people that they've been on live and they've done this with us, you know? You know, they'll be able to come on onto here and then share our video to other people and go, wow, I was on there and they did a reading, a mini reading for us on, on Zoom. You know, it, it, different concept, but we love doing it, you know? And it's amazing that mm -hmm. um, mini reading for us on, on Zoom. Oh, hello. Sorry. Um, but, you know, the people that have come on so far, we've had so much um, energy from them. We've had some laughs, you know. I, I, was it Sharon we had on there the other day? Uh, the one from Norfolk, Chernobyl, or whatever her name is. Um, Senegal, <laughs> that's her. Senegal was all, yeah. Um, she came on and it was amazing. We just had a great laugh. The other ones that had come on, Jade and and all the others. We appreciate them coming on and and making um the you know like the zoom be different for others. But other people watch too. So we're we're not just gonna give up on you know like the comment readings as we say, you know, because you lot are important. We're everybody's important on this page because we call you our family. We call you our family members. Yeah. But also if you would like to book a private reading with us, you know, 
a proper private reading, which would be, you know, um, either with myself or Silvana, please message this page also and let us know who you would like the reading with. OK, and then send then we will send you our details of how it works and the schedule and to schedule an appointment with yourself. OK, um, you will find the, both of the links on the comments. So, you know, if you look up and down there, just send us a comment and um, and, you know, and who says, you know, that not having a reading with us won't, you know, like a full reading with us won't help you even further. You know, because some people think, well, no, it won't, it won't work, it won't work. You know, even these mini readings have helped so many people. OK, so many people have gone away amazed at how, how we can do these things. But we do it because we love what we do. You know, um, it's just part of our development. And this is part of your development because you're here. This is what you were meant to be here to help us, but for us to help you too. You know, it's not just for entertainment purposes. It's for us to basically help each other on our journeys. And that's what it's doing. It's helping us all on our journeys. And it, it, it's an amazing thing that we can do. But I know there's other people on the page and that have been with us also that have the same gift or the same gifts. And, uh, you know, it, it is. It's, it's just one of those things that... Oh, doopy doopy doo. Yep. Yeah, it's just, oh, hello, Susan. Hello, everyone. I can see the pin donation button there. Okay. Um, I just, there's a couple of people asking questions, Paul. Uh, Grace, uh, the way that you can get a minute, if you want a full, proper, private reading, uh, Paul just mentioned, then you can message this page and let us know who you would like to have that. Uh, with and we will send you the details of how they work and um, and schedule an appointment for you but if you would like a mini reading now um, all you need to do is please share our live um, you'll receive a mini reading if you've shared our live and we're drawn to you uh, but you can also have a mini reading on zoom uh, where we can see you um, you know, and I'll actually really be able to connect with you. Um, so if you'd like to do that and you have a Zoom login, um, please message this page and let us know that you've got the Zoom login and that you'd like a mini reading. Um, and I'll then uh, send you a link and you can come on with us right now. But um, to be eligible for this, you will need to have made a donation and uh, the donation button is in the pinned comments below. And um, Steph is just asking whereabouts we're from. Steph, I'm in Melbourne in Australia and Paul is in the UK. Whereabouts are you from? Hi, Susan. Okay. Um, while we're just, uh, Steph is going to let us know where she's from. I've pulled out your cards, Tisha. I hope you're still on. Sorry that you've waited a little bit. Um, I'll just uh, check that you're still on. You're in New Zealand, living in Australia. Whereabouts in Australia, Steph? Yeah, oh, good, you're still there. Okay. Yeah, sorry about this. I'm just all, I was just trying to sort something out. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh... All right, now, Tisha, what I've got for you, are you okay, uh, Paul? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, okay. Yeah, my, my little toes are hurting, but I'll, I'll survive. <laughs> you didn't feed the mouse, did you? No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> oh, in New South Wales, okay. Cool. How long have you been there? 
how long have you been here? Okay, so Tisha. Now, I've got the prosperity card for you. And um, with this and also with the perfect timing card, um, what I'm getting for this is you've probably already noticed it anyway, that when um, you sort of need something or you need money or you have need of assistance from someone for something, uh, you need a certain object uh, it just seems somehow something happens that uh, it comes to you. Um, it's it's what I, I need to tell you is that, and, and this is actually going to continue for you. It's just, you just have that with you and it's your vibration that attracts that. You are given things when you need them uh, materialistically, uh, if I have anyone said that correctly. But um, just follow your dreams, follow your intuition, and um, you'll find that by the way you, you get this prosperity, you'll also receive your dreams in this way. Uh, you'll find that what you, you dream about, what you really desire manifests for you because you have that vibration. You actually, your intentions, when you think about it, really are put out there. You really put it out there. Um, now, at the, I need to tell you, because with, even with the perfect timing card, that um, now is actually the moment for you to act uh, on your inspiration. So you may even be going through processing something else now in your mind. Now is the time to act on it. Um, you'll find that um, as you go about it, uh, everything will just work out for you. People will be there to support you. Things will just work out for you. It, it's just fantastic. It's actually a very good, um, a great set of cards. Now, I need to also let you know that um, you. I'm not sure if you have a situation like this yet or it may be coming. Um, you, you'll find that you may be in situations where um, perhaps people with or something with bad energy might come near it or some sort of drama. I need to tell you that it's healthy for you to set boundaries. There's nothing wrong with you to set a boundary. Um, you know, it's just that all you have to say is no. You know, you don't want any part of it. Um, you know, it, 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 practice expressing your needs like that. Um, you need to set boundaries for yourself and you, you need to know that um, situations like that will be handled fairly. But um, that's about really all that I've got for you. So um, I hope that that helps you. Yeah, I feel that you have a very good vibration around you and um, you do attract your, anything you desire, you will attract it. But thank you so much for sharing our live. Paul is going to see what he can get for you, Tisha. I will do that. Yes, oh, thank you for coming through. Uh, Tisha and uh, yeah it's nice to see you um, I can't remember are you new to the page because I've never seen you before um, I've not I don't recognize the name but uh, nice to see you and let me see what I can get for you let me see and thank you for letting me do this for you uh, thank you and thank you for supporting our show our little show Okay. Right here. Yeah. What, what I get with yourself is there's a bit of, um, it's like you've got a great, I think this is something that Saran has just said. I'm just leading from that, I think. It's like you've got a great energy around you, but you've also got that panic mode inside you too. It's like, oh, Am I or aren't I going to be good enough? You know, what you've got to think on is how far you've come forward 
on this little journey that in such a short time, you know, you will be amazed at what will happen um, in your journey, in your life, in your, you know, what, where you're heading isn't going to be somewhere where you feel you should be at the moment. It's like you've taken, it feels like you've taken the wrong turn in somewhere. It feels like you've just taken a young, a, a young, a long, the wrong turn in and you need to get back on track. It feels like you just need to get back on track and start moving it forward again. Okay. You're only young. Okay. But don't worry about that. This is the best time to start learning. Okay. We learn all through our lives. Okay. You need to start learning what will help you, what will guide you, what will what will come to you, what will be there for you. Okay. A lot of what we we're saying, I do believe you've already had thoughts about, or uh, you know, you've had thoughts about, and you know, you've been watching certain people. And these people have shown it's like it's open, it's just opened your mind because what I get with yourself it's either the it's either the tarot cards or the oracle cards again similar to what uh, Suhana does but I do keep getting them with you and it's like I keep seeing you pl placing these cards down I don't believe this will be yet if you are doing if you are doing that now. Be careful with what you do, okay? Uh, be careful with what you do, okay? But be open in the future to what will happen because if you're open to it, it will just flow. It will just flow like water. If, you, if you're not open to it and you keep dropping back and going, oh, God, what am I going to do? How's this going to happen? What, what, you know, can I be this good? You know, it's, it's learning. It's like if you, it's like, um, I don't know, it's, it's something that a lot of people haven't got in. Everybody's got this gift inside them, okay? But everybody doesn't express this gift, doesn't express a gift of love, happiness and everything around them. They don't do that because they listen to other people. They listen so much to other people, they don't listen to themselves, okay? You've got to track down yourself, basically. It's like you've, you've put yourself in the corner, and it's like you, you try and you sometimes put yourself in the corner in a, in a box, okay? And that box is stopping you from taking on new projects okay i know it might sound a bit weird to you but it will work itself out it's like you've got to unlock a door i know I, I use the door analogy a lot but this this time you actually got to unlock it not just walk through it you've actually got to find the key to unlock that door okay you've actually got to unlock that door and start to move it forward because a lot of people are, are actually waiting for you now, okay? They don't know they're waiting for you, but I, I do believe that it will um, happen very quickly once you open that door and everything will just come together. But be aware that because you're still training, you have to understand, you've got to understand what you're giving basically okay you've got to live your life you've got to love your life and you've got to learn where you're going okay if you live and love your life and you learn what you should be doing okay you will be amazed okay you'll be amazed and a lot of people like i say you're getting guiding hands from um, it's like the angels, spirit from the you know, spirit world. And yeah, you, I do believe there's a little girl around you that also helps you. 
there's there's also somebody I don't know if because I'm picking this up. It's like somebody sits on the edge of your and on the edge of your bed too. It's like you're, somebody is sitting on the edge of your bed. Okay. Yeah, it's like somebody sitting there and going, "Come on, I'm showing you the way. I'm showing you the way, but you're just not opening that door. You're not opening. You're not unlocking that door." Yeah, but the person that will help you is also waiting for you. Okay, it will be it will be just like a chance meeting. It will be just like a chance meeting. So you you'll be fine. You're going to be an amazing person, and so many people. I actually do see you going. Oh wow! I know this might not seem right, but just go for it. Just go for it. When, when you're ready, okay, just do the learning, take on the challenges and take it stage by stage, step by step. Because it looks like you've already taken that leap of faith. You just didn't know where to take it, you know, and why you can't move forward and things like that. But you will be so amazed when it starts to come fall into place. So well done you. But uh, as these are only many readings, let's let's see see who else we got. But thank you, yeah, to, thank you. And uh, let let's let's uh, see if any of that resonated with yourself. Thank you. Thank I you. just say you're most welcome, Tisha. Hi, Sri. Is it Sri? Sri. Um, hi, Cherie, and hi, Tom. Tom's on as well. Thank you, Tisha. And Barbara. Thank you. Wow. So many lovely people on. I just wanted to um, mention to you, Tisha, um, with um, you said you've got the cards away in the box. Um, I just wanted to let you know, like, if you ever go, like, at whatever point you go back to the cards, make sure that you cleanse like clear them um you can do that um with um sage or there's other ways to, to consecrate your cards um but also while you have them stored if you've got an amethyst or crystal quartz um you you um just check like put that on top of that so that actually protects them um, and stops any interference with them from energies that you wouldn't want to interfere with them. Um, so just, just so like some information on the cards. Hi, Elaine. Um, okay. Now. Okay, so I'm just having a look now for uh, to see who else we can do a reading for. Okay, um, can you please let me know, Paul? I'm just doing that. Yeah. Yep. Um, yes, um, I was just about to say, welcome to uh, uh, Vicar. Uh, fit, fit, fit Pat, I'm going to say it. Fit, Fitzpatrick. Um, thank you for your donation. And thank you, Susan, for your donation too. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for your donations. Um, and yeah, you'll okay. be able to. Would you would you like to let us know if you would like a reading um, on Zoom? If you want to come on Zoom and do it, or if you just want it in the comments? Um, if you could please let me know. I'm just checking the comments now. Hmm. Hi, V. If v is the other person you mentioned. Is that right, Paul? Sorry, that one again? V? Uh, V-I-T-K-A. Vicar. Fitzpatrick. Okay. V, was that you? That must and, be. Um, we have uh, Susan. another lady. Susan. Susan. Yeah. So, um, Susan, are you still on? And V, please let me know if you would like the mini reading here 
or if you would like to come on the Zoom now and we'll do one for you live. Okay, so Susan, do you want it in the comments or on the Zoom? Here, all right, so we'll do it for you here. And V, thank you so much. Would you like it here on the comments or on the Zoom? All right, while we're waiting to hear from V, I'm going to start pulling out uh, cards for Susan to do in the comments. Yeah, um, you know, um, thank you to everybody that, that are making, you know, the ones that are making the donations. Thank you to you all. You know, um, you know, it does make it a, you know, we're, we're so thankful, you know, because it helps. Um, and it helps with um, trying, making the show a little bit better as well, because a lot of what we, what we get is pushed back into the show, you know, so that we can buy new equipment and stuff like that for helping you lot and making the show a lot better. Yeah, so it's not, it doesn't go in our pockets, as it were. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit weird, but um, um, but it, it, it goes back into the shows for everybody to, to um, what's the word, to get yeah, to enjoy. Yeah. Oh, is that Sri? Yeah, nice to see you. Uh, new here. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking for the other person that donated to you, Paul. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen any comments here. So I thought it was V, but I've not seen anything else. No, it's... Uh, okay, I haven't seen uh, the name come up either. Um, I'm, I'm just looking now. But we're, we're grateful to whoever it is. Is that stream? Yeah. Um, oh, hello, Tom. Nice to see you. Um, oh, v, great. V, um, can you let me know? Um, we're just doing the for Susan now, and you're next. Let me know if you'd like to join us on Zoom for a mini reading on there uh, so we can see you, or do you want to do it here in the comments? <laughs> mm. Oh dear, sorry about that. Um, but it's nice that we we were. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing so many familiar faces with us as well. You know, we've got Ange just turned up. Hello, Ange. I'm I'm doing well, thank you. And thank you to, like I say, all the others that have, you know, donated to our little show. Um, but you know, we we appreciate we appreciate all those donations, and um, but uh, like we've what like we've said, you know, um, if you want to have a Zoom meeting with us, as it were, and do a look a Zoom, um, come on Zoom with us, you know, just um, send us a message on this on Messenger and let us know. That you have a Zoom login, and that you would like a mini reading, you know. And if you to be eligible for these, um, you need to make a donation. The donation button is pinned on the comments below. And look at look at that. Uh, thank you to the ones that have already done it, and we we appreciate it so so much. Um, um, and if if you're new to the new to the site or new to our show, uh, please share our, our live. Um, it would, you know, if you'd like a mini reading, please share our live. Uh, yeah. uh, you would receive a mini reading if you have shared and, and we are drawn to you, okay? It, it's just nice that we get more people looking and watching us. You know, it's not just for us, it's for all of you lot to, you know, bringing more people to the, to join us basically yeah and yeah don't forget to share as we say 
Thank you. Um, oh, sorry, was I waffling on? Yeah, it's all right. I'm just ready uh, to read for Susan. Uh, hi, Angie. I just saw Angie's on as well. And V, we, we're going to do his in the comment or the on the comments as well. Whereabouts are you from, V? Um, okay. Now, Susan. Yeah, the, the comments are slow at the moment. I think there's a bit of a delay with the with the show, so that's normal. Right. Okay. So this is for uh, surgeon, yes? Yes, yes. So, oh, um, you okay? Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Susan, what I've got for you, um, I've pulled out the Cupid card. And um, what I'm guided to tell you in regards to this is that um, you're, if you haven't already, um, you are or will be experiencing like a renewed love in everything. Uh, a, re a renewed love in life, in what you do, uh, just uh, appreciating everything um, and enjoying life. And you you'll find that that will attract, that will actually attract romance to you. Um, if you're already in a relationship, uh, you'll find that um, it will renew a spark, but um, it'll be your... Um, the joyous love that you uh, are having in life and for yourself that will radiate from you and attract that to you. Um, I need to let you know that um, the angels are protecting you from lower energies. So, um, and not just yourself, your loved ones and your home. So, you know, not to worry about that. And um, also... I feel like I need to express to you a, an importance to surrender to silence. And when I say that, I mean more like um, what would be very beneficial for you at the moment is like going into a quiet meditation um, and contemplating uh, uh, and letting go um, and just entering the stillness within you. Um, you'll find that the silence will replenish you, uh, restore energies. Um, and this will also, it will reinvigorate you to love life around you. It'll just give you a new, um, a refresh approach and a new view on things. But um, don't look ahead too much. Just focus on what the here and now. So that's all I've really got for you. So I hope that that helps you um, and that it resonates with you. Paul's going to see what he can get for you. Yes. Uh, thank you, Susan, for your donation as well. Um, thank you so much for that. Okay, let's see what we can get with you. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Okay. Right. The, the first thing I get with yourself, Susan, okay, is there's like a, a mix match at the moment with like how you're, how you're actually feeling. Yeah, it's like one minute you're in, in a space of, Oh, um, panic mode, so no I can say it. And then all of a sudden, you're so happy. It's like you, these things you do, they make you worry, but then you get over it and start to enjoy it. Okay? It's like you go away from it, and then you start to go, wow. So it's, it's like you're taking on the challenges, but you're not, you're taking on a challenge and challenges in life, that you can relate to. So you, it's like you, you like to learn. You like to understand where things are heading. You like to understand things, you know, and, and, and do your best for that and do your, the best for you, you know, 
because the more you understand, it's like sciences and things like that. If you understand sciences, then you will understand where you're going and, and you understand life. It's, you know, and you understand life, you understand the journey, you understand, you know, it's like you want, it's just permanent learning. I don't know if you look, because I get you learning, um, or if you're not doing it at the moment, you will be learning new languages. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's like languages will co- be coming into your, um, your life. And I don't, and I don't know if it's because you're going to go to this certain place or it's just because, like I said a minute ago, you just like to learn. You just want to fill your head with so much. But sometimes you've got to let go of some of the things that you have there or, or at least put them in the back so it doesn't hurt your head, you know. You've got to start learning like the basics as well. I think you've been like this since you've been younger, you know, where, where you could just pick a book up and like a read, read a book and it would be, wow, it would be amazing to read a book in about, I don't know, half an hour or something because you, you just love reading also but what you what you're going to do because because also i get i don't know why it's either you went to university or you want to go to university or that type of thing okay um yeah but if it is you know because that seems to be the next level or of where you want to go i keep getting I don't know why I had this before. I've got doctorate and things like that. It's like you're learning for this already. You know, it just feels like you want to or you're already doing it. And it, it's amazing what you are doing because it, you could stand up in front of a class and teach people like a teacher. You could be like a teacher to somebody, to, to like a room full of children or or even adults because of what you like to learn okay you could do that but you've got that giving mentality as well you have a giving mentality which lets you do all of this because you feel that you should this is you know that this is your path um similar to what we do this is we we do this because we want to give our energies out and give great messages to people but that's what you're doing by what you've learned in life, okay? And you will, um, you'll you'll be amazing if not already, okay? Okay. But never lose never lose yourself because you've got to. Sometimes you tend to just go off off track. You need to start. You need to keep focused on what you're doing, okay? Sometimes you just need. To, go off track and and you don't go anywhere and you you start to worry that all what you're learning wasn't relevant okay it is relevant it's just you've just got to take a step back take a look at it again and then move on like you have done many a time but sometimes like i say you 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 get into that position where you just go oh my god you know like I said a minute ago, it's like your head just fills with too much and it's like you're learning too much and you start taking from, you start learning something, you go, oh, blimey, I can't do it. Your head just goes blank. It's like your head just goes blank. <laughs> but you, you as a person will be, you know, I, I need I need you to teach me some <laughs> things. You know, I need, and, and many people out there will, will be amazed to learn from yourself, you know, because you are are something that a lot of people want. I do believe also you have a spiritual side to yourself, you know, and this is why you can also um, do what you do because they've been helping you since very young. Okay, it's like the angels, You, you know, it's like you've got a spirit guide beside you also, it's like people that have passed on are also holding your hand and going, come on, you know, slow down a bit, but, you know, you'll be fine. 
because people still understand what you're saying. Yeah, you're learning enough, but sometimes you need to take time for yourself. You need to take time for yourself and, yeah, listen to who you are, okay? You need to, yeah, we, we can't help everybody. You can help, you know, so many, but we can't help everybody. And, and I think this is why you would like to be a teacher or do something similar. Yeah. But uh, I hope you understood that. And I hope you resonated with that. And thank you very much, Susan, for again, for your donation. And thank you so much for what you do out there. OK. And thank you just for being part of our show. Um, yeah. I hope that resonated with yourself. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Susan. Oh, there we go. Thank oh. you, Susan. Yeah, that was lovely. That was nice of you. Um, hi, Sandy. Thank you. Um, I just want to, if people are asking how to get a mini reading, um, I've pulled out cards for you, V, so I'll read those out for you in just a moment. But I'll just let everyone know that if you would like a mini reading, please share our live and um, you'll receive a, fin a mini reading if you've shared our live and if we are drawn to you. Um, what we're doing as well is if you have a Zoom login and you'd like to come on the Zoom on the live now and for a mini reading so we can see you. Um, please send a message to the page, um, to this one on Messenger, and let us know that you've got a Zoom login and that you would like a mini reading. Uh, to be eligible for this, you will need to have made a donation and um, the donation button has been pinned in the comments below. But um, otherwise you can book a private reading. Um, you know, if you'd like a reading with myself or with Paul, uh, you can message this page and let us know who you'd like to have the reading with. And um, we'll send you the details of how the readings work and schedule an appointment for you. And uh, I'll be posting, actually I'll do that now, I'm posting the links to both our pages um, in the comments. No, I, I just want to say thank you to Susan for her fantastic me uh, messages. And um, and to one of them, all right, where you said you hadn't got the confidence, uh, you you would have the confidence. Don't don't worry about that. You'll be so confident, you know. You'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It'll be yeah. It's like the first day nerves. Okay, you the first day nerves, and then. The rest, you know, you get over it. It's like when we started doing these, you know, when I first did my first reading, I never thought I'd continue with it or I would be confident enough. But I just carried on because I knew it was going to help so many people. Uh, yeah. So, wow. But you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, Susan. So thank you. Yep. <laughs> Everybody, thank you. Oh, yes. Um, thank you, Anne. I've just seen that you've shared our live. If you stay on, I'll do a mini reading for you. And um, V, I just want to make sure that V is still on. See, Anne, you did it. It's got sharer above your name. Well done. <laughs> yes, whoopee. She's written first time it's worked. Whoopee. <laughs> um, okay. stay, stay on and um, <laughs> I'll do a reading for you. V, I just want to make sure you're still on because I've pulled out some cards for you to do your reading. Oh, yep. yes. Good. V's still on. Okay. Yes. Um, now. Yeah. Mike, yeah, I've just noticed. Ange, you yeah. shared. Woohoo. Yeah. Okay, I'm just doing a reading for V. Okay. Uh, v, the, the card uh, that I need to focus on here is the See Only Love card. 
And um, what this represents for you, it's all about unconditional love. Um, for you, um, seeing the underlining of everything, you know, looking past everything, looking past errors or looking past things that perhaps um, you may feel that, you know, is there's a fault or an attitude. Um, there's You'll find that there's a reason for that. I, I feel perhaps, I don't know, um, around you at the moment, there could be um, a person or some people where... Um, you might even actually find them annoying and you're not very happy with, but you just need to look um, at the underlying, uh, underlying matter um, and just see love because, you know, sometimes people, you know, we are the way that we are and you, you know, we do things with good intentions, but sometimes things don't work out. But, um, you know, I, I've been getting this throughout throughout um, this spread here, um, all about uh, surrendering the denial aspect of yourself, you know, ex expect, uh, accepting people and situations exactly the way that they are. Um, you know, it's, it's only when you do this that you can see things more clearly, um, you know, and make the best decisions. So, um, but also in, in the same instance is uh, be gentle with yourself and um, surround yourself with gentle people. But um, I, I've got this card here. This is the um, confidence card. And, um, you know, for me, I, I'm getting for you, it's all about practice. You know, sometimes when we try and change a way that we look at things, you know, if we've been too uh, narrow-minded. I'm not saying that you're narrow-minded, but we're, we're seeing things in a, in a tunnel sort of vision way. It takes practice to broaden the vision and see the underlining um, of everything. And that's what I'm getting with this. It's going to take time and practice to, um, to do that. It makes sense. So that's great. So I, I hope that that helps you. Um, Paul is going to see what he can get for you now as well. Yeah, um, let me just do that. Yep. Thank you. Um, thank you, V, for your um, donation as well. Thank you. And uh, thank you for uh, coming to our show today. And it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. All right, let's see what I can get with yourself. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Okay, okay. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like I said to um, a lot of people, yeah, you've got the laughter inside you, okay? But you keep stepping back, you keep stepping back and you, you then, you know, uh, and not letting out what you have inside you. You're not letting it out, okay? You're not letting what you have, you know, inside you to move you forward. Okay, there's, there's going to be some changes that will help you with this, okay? I don't know if you've noticed them yet. There will be some big changes, okay? But you need to, like I said for somebody earlier, you need to open your eyes and look around you because a lot of people don't open their eyes. You need to open your eyes and find that door. If you're, if you're drawn towards something and you feel it's the right thing, you go for it, okay? If you feel, you know, because your mind will just, your, your eyes will just take you to where you've got to be, okay? It could be a new person in, in the life. It could be, could be learning. It could be um, anything, a new car. It could be something that's going to help you to become a better you, okay? Because there's people that are watching you 
and they're thinking, how come she hasn't moved forward yet? They're saying, why hasn't she moved forward yet? She should have done this already. It's like they're not, they're not complaining at you. It's like they're saying she should have done this already. Okay. But I do believe that when people are saying this and if people have said it to your face, it sends you back into your shell, which pushes you back, which then you go, why? You know, why do you do this? You know, why, why am I getting this attention, but it's not the attention that I need? Yeah, it, it's something that you've got to work out, but you, I do believe that the work, there's always people around us like that, okay? But those people won't always be in your life, okay? Because you've got to live your life. You've got to live the life that you've been given. OK. And all these gifts that you have inside you and the ones that you will learn, OK, will help you to move these people away. Once, uh, once those people are not needed in your life anymore, they'll just suddenly disappear. They'll move. They'll. They, they, well, yeah, just basically they won't be close. OK. So then you'll get new people in that will help you to guide you to, to just take you to paths, take you to places that you've never, ever been, okay? So what you've got to do, because I get like a bit of a fuzzy head as well um, with you, it's like things can be all over the place. It's like, ooh, twizzle, twizzle in you. It's like you can't focus in here which you do need to do so that every, everything else will move forward. Uh, and you've got to open your mind to new concepts, new, like, like we said to Susan a minute ago, you've got to start, it's like a reverse. Susan does all the, did all the learning, but you want to learn, but you don't. Okay, it's like you do want to learn, but you don't learn. Okay, it's like you you just don't you just can't take it on board because it's like there's a barrier that's stopping everything moving forward. Okay, because I do I do see there's like brick walls, but you've got to keep going, keep going, and the money side that that will work itself out. Yeah, don't, you don't need to worry about things like that. And I, I know. Sometimes we do need it, okay? But that will come. If you're, if you're, um, you know, you're focused enough and everything else is working fine, that will come with it, okay? That will come with it. So don't worry about that and never lose hope. Never, ever lose hope in who you are, where your journey is going, what, you know, what you're going to do in life or, you know, because it just feels like you, you know, it's like something when you were younger just stopped you from doing this, okay? It's just like it's stuck in your head, but you can reverse it and start to do these things, you know? You know, it, it's slowly, slowly, as they say, slowly, slowly, and you will find the more you focus on yourself and take challenges on one by one, take it steady, steady pace at your pace, not at anybody else's, take it at your pace. You'll find things will start to fall into place. And you'll understand what I was saying then, because you'll, you'll become something that is amazing. Okay. Not just for you, for the people that will be around you. I'm not saying you'll be top of the class, but you'll be amazing for yourself. As long as you're good inside, you don't have to worry about people around you and what they're saying. If they're trying to put you off things, don't worry. It's your journey. You take it where you want to go. 
they might complain, but you still have to push through them barriers and take yourself there. Okay? But don't worry, you'll be fine. Okay? It's just how you want to take life on. It's how you want to do it. But you'll be you'll be okay. You've just got to believe in yourself now. Okay? Because it, it's waiting to come out. It's waiting to come out. All that happiness, all that wonderfulness that you have inside you. Yep. It, bits keep creeping out, but, uh, you know, it's like not enough. It's like a drip out of a tap, you know. You've just got to let it whoosh, <laughs> like, you know, like a, I don't know, a river flowing really fast. But then you have to relax. I, I do believe that meditation would be good for you. You know, listening to calming music and just relax and chill. Okay. But thank you so much for letting me read you. And uh, I hope that resonated with yourself, V. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, thank you. You take care and keep going. Never let things get you down. Okay, because you're the one that, that can take it there. You're the one that can take it there. It is, it is, Sheree. Meditation is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you, and thank you for donating again. Thank you, and, and this is what about our donations, you know, if you donate, we. You, you get it's not you get to the top of the class um you know you just you know it 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 makes it easier and get drawn to quicker okay but thank you oh wow <laughs> yeah here we go oh thank oh, you hi, Madhu. Madhu's from sri lanka your first time lovely um and i just saw anna's come on as well um so many not, uh, lovely people that have come on uh, i'll just let you know what you can do to get a mini reading and um if you'd like a mini reading um all you need to do is to please share our live um you'll receive a mini reading if you share have shared it and if we're drawn to you um, what we're also doing is if you have a Zoom login and you'd like to come on Zoom for a live me uh, mini reading and like we'd just, uh, I'd send you the link and you'd come on now and we'd do a mini reading for you. Um, please send a message to this page on Messenger and let us know that you have a Zoom login and you'd like us to do a mini reading for you. To be eligible for this, um, you will need to have made a donation uh, and the donation button is pinned in the comments below. Um, but otherwise, what you could do is if you'd like a private reading, you can message this page and uh, let us know who you're interested uh, in having a reading with, myself or Paul, and we'll then send you the details of how the readings work and schedule an appointment for you. Um, I've pasted the links to both our pages already in the comments. Um, but both of us can access the messages that go to this page. Now, I, I've pulled out some cards for Ange. So are you still on Ange? Calling Ange. Ange. Calling Ange. Are you still on? <laughs> Oh, don't tell me she's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> and no. Are you still gone? I think she's still there. She's just hiding in the background. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. I can see it. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, okay. So what I've got... 
What I've got um, for you is um, I've pulled out the prioritise card for you. And what I, I'm getting for you um, from this, um, just by looking at this, it, it's... I feel that I need to tell you to, to focus on what you need to do first. Um, look at what is more important, what has um, a higher value to do first. Um, your, your, the guidance that you have around you and your angels will actually help you um, to get organised and motivated. But it's a bit like that you've got a few things that you, you'd want to do or you, like a um, that you need to do, but you're really not sure um, or you haven't really made a move to do any of those things as yet. So it's more like getting organised and prioritising. But um, there are energies around you that have been trying to give you messages um they've you, but you haven't um i'm being guided to tell you to even in a, a daydream sort of state you may find that you'll receive in your mind's eye um some of these messages that, that they're trying to give you um you'll find that that sort of like if you don't meditate Daydreaming may also put you in that a bit of a, in that state to be able to receive that kind, those kind of messages, but um, I, I feel as well that I need to tell you to um, to speak, you know, speak your needs out and speak your truth, um, and focus on your own happiness instead of worrying about or trying to make other people happy as well. Um, it's more like it's part of your nature where you, you're always trying to please people, but I'm being guided to tell you to let go of that, um, to stop trying to please people and, um, you know, instead, you know, focus on yourself instead of trying to make other people happy. But, um, if you, I've, I've pulled out this card, which is a beautiful card. It, it's all about like the garden, but um, what I get from this for you, um, Angie, is that, you know, just following these steps, you know, letting go of trying to please people and, you know, um, you know, speak for, you know, look after your own needs and prioritise the things that you have that need to be done um, you'll find that, um, like I'm getting with this card, that a lot of lovely things will actually grow from that. You'll, you'll be very, um, very fruitful and of what you will receive from going ahead like that. So that's all I can really get for you. But I hope that helps you and that it resonates. Uh, Paul will see whether he can get something for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I ain't done a uh Bit of a reading for you for a while so this will be will be quite interesting let's see what i can get for you and see what i can get for you okay all right well the first thing is <laughs> and, and i think i've told you this one before don't sit back don't sit back okay and watch the world go by okay because you you've got a wonderful gift inside you you've got a wonderful personality you know you've got something that a lot of people haven't i know sometimes you like to uh you know have a bit of a a moan i shouldn't say that but i have you like to have a little bit of a moan but you've got to understand the calmer you are the less moaning you'll do okay and you'll find this it takes time okay it just takes time you have got to start believing in where where your life has taken you and what life it can offer you okay 
I can I can tell you that life has offered you so much, but you seem to be skirting over the top of so much. Okay, you are going to be once your mind is in the right place and you start to listen, start to understand, start believing and and in yourself okay yeah um you'll start believing and your life will, will start to turn around because it's like you you keep looking at the past you keep wondering why the past doesn't give me anything it's like it's I tell, right your your life is like a book okay your life is like a book. When you get to the end of that book, all right, or the end of a chapter, you want everything in that chapter to happen, okay? And if it doesn't happen, you won't move on to chapter two, okay? But you need to understand that you you can do these things, okay? You can, you can move on. You can move forward. You can take these things on board. Um, you know, help is always there. Help is always there, but you've got to pick the right person to get that help. You know, one we've spoken before. You know, you know, I gave you some answers, but uh, this time it seems like there's somebody else that's going to help you. It's not just going to be me. Yeah, there's going to be someone else out there that's offering a hand to guide you, to take you somewhere away from all that anger, all that pain, all that confusion that's going on in your head at this moment in time. Okay. You have to live your life. You have to live your life. You can't keep pushing back and going Oh, it's not working. It's not working. What's going to happen? You can't keep repeating the questions. You can't keep repeating or asking the same questions over and over and over again because it won't work. If someone's if you've been to another psychic and somebody else is telling you the, the answers, that the, and the next psychic is going to give you the same sort of answer but in a different way. Okay but you'll still get the same answers until you start to take on board those answers, okay? And you need to take them answers on board and move it forward, okay? You move it forward and you'll be fine, but you've got to start believing that these things will work, okay? Because, it, like, again, it's like you're, you're coming to either the end of a chapter or you just hit a brick wall and you're going, oh, can't move, can't move, what's happening? And I think I'll go and ask the same questions again. It don't work like that. You always get the same answers from the same, from, from different psychics, okay? Give time to what, what you have, okay? Get out there. I know you've got a bad knee at the moment, but sometimes you do need to get out in the fresh air and don't let others control your life. Don't let others control who you are, because a minute ago, like I said, you, you're a special lady, okay, but a lot of people can't see that because of the, like, the, the face that you, uh, the, the, I don't know, it's like there's two sides of you, two sides of the coin. When you're with, with myself, wow, great personality. When you see people that you don't know, right, it's like, Oh dear, you know, I mean, it's like you're trying to put across the same, the other side of the coin forward, but it, people can see that it's not the real you, okay? But you've got to, you've got to bring out the real you because I do believe that uh, you need that movement to take you forward, okay? That movement will take you forward. Go and learn, okay? Because I do get, and I think I told you this before, you need movement in your life take you somewhere new that will make your life amazing okay go and do something move to a different town move move somewhere 
because I do believe where you are, you need to, oh, I won't go into that, but you just need to get out there and do it, go for it. You know, just just take it wherever you got to take it. But you've got to start learning and go for it. Okay, just understand that life isn't easy, but never ask, never ask the same questions over and over again because you'll never, you'll never get any different answers until you start to answer those questions. Okay, but uh, I hope that re well, I know a lot of that resonated with yourself, but uh, thank you for letting me do a little reading for you. For your Ange, and well done again for putting the share above your head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well done, well done you. So thank you, and I'll I'll catch you up another day when your knees are better, when it's a bit warmer. <laughs> so thank you. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yep. You ready there, Silvana? You okay? Um, yeah, I was just pulling out some cards for Madhu. And I I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Am I pronouncing it correctly, Madhu? Are you still on? Hi, Juliet. Yes. Juliet's new. Yes, yes. It's all right, I'm going now. I've got a bit of time to quickly go through there. Yeah, Madhu, are you, are you still on? I've pulled out some cards for you. You know, that's that's a nice, very, uh, a nice uh, yeah. name, Autumn. Is that your full name, Ma Madhu? Hang on a second. Madhu... Wathika, wath one thick. Oh, oh, oh we're we on, we on one of them again. <laughs> no, I, did you see this? Did, did Francesca. <laughs> yeah, did, did you see this lady's name, Autumn? Yeah. From um, London, California. I'd love to go to California. It's one place I'd love to go. Oh, my goodness. Madua, I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say your name. Um... Can I say Madhu? <laughs> uh, I just can't say it. Okay. <laughs> I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> it sounds um, like a Welsh, a Welsh name. Mahuwana Thika. Now, what uh, you did ask me, you, you have asked some questions there. And um, I was going to say to you, uh, you know, it, it's just a mini reading. It's what I'm drawn to tell you. But as I was pulling out the cards, obviously what you were asking me is very strong within you. It's, it's like a strong point of focus for you because it has come out in the cards. Um, I'll just... Pull out, I'll just show you this. I've got the new partner card, right? And um, all, the whole spread that I've pulled out is that, um, you know, you're, you're being guided spiritually. You're being guided to meet your soulmate. Um, the, the destiny and all the pathways are all being aligned. Uh, you are... At, it's so that you can meet your soulmate and um, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. And um, it's been orchestrated um, by the angels and um, it will be happening. So um, you obviously you've put your intentions out there and you're manifesting it. Um, you, you, you're really manifesting it. Obviously, you know, it's quite, you'll find that when you have very strong feelings, that this is how you manifest things. When your feelings are stro so strong, you know, your, your intentions go out there and it, it just comes to you. And I, I can see that um, 
it's going to happen. Now, you'll, I, I need to tell you to be careful, uh, be careful of the people that do come um, to you, pay careful attention to them. Um, the right ones for you, are, and when I say to pay careful attention is listen to your intuition, um, your heart, um, that when these people are presenting themselves to you or, or you know you find them in front of you you they just happen to come by um you need to be careful and make sure that you go towards the ones where you have a sense of um familiarity familiarity <laughs> um where that you feel familiar with and um you feel you have a sense of comfort and safety um, they're the ones that are, it'll be the person that you feel this towards that will be the right one for you. Now, um, you will have, um, trust yourself in the decision that you make. So don't be swayed about what other people are trying to tell you or the choices that other people are telling you to do. Um, you know, you need to take action and be confident in what you decide within yourself. And it'll be your heart will actually tell you which is the right one. So you're going to have more than one. So um, just be careful and stay away from anyone that you can feel is toxic. And, um, you know, you deserve to be treasured and loved by someone and not. Um, so just stay away from people that are like that. You'll sense it straight away. So, um, but... I feel as well that you've had previous roadblocks in the sense of receiving abundance. Um, the, it's, the success is there. So you just need to let go of everything and be ready to receive it uh, because there's quite a lot of exciting new possibilities that are occurring for you now. Um, it's all starting to open up. But... Um, that's all I'm really getting for you. So it's all going to happen. Um, it's just, it's all on you now. When, as it happens, that um, you do trust your intuition. Yeah, well, don't worry about that one then. Because see here, I got here, surrender unhealthy relationships. And that's where I'm getting that from. So, you know, you will come across toxic ones. Don't even give them a second look and you'll feel it straight away. You'll feel it. And you'll feel the one that um, is right for you because you'll feel like you've come home. You feel safe, you know, you feel comfortable with them and you'll know which one. But that's all I've got for you. Um, so I hope that's helped you and we'll see what Paul can get for you. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm Madhu. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to say your second name. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> if you've been on the show before, it, uh, no, I always have problems with names. That, uh, yeah, but it's nice to see you. And, you know, anyway, thank you for supporting us and coming on to our lovely show. Um, full of energy, full of happiness, full of fantasticness. And that's what we want. We want you to come in happy and go away even happier. Okay. But uh, let me see what I can pick up with yourself. Let me see what I can do for you on this fine day. Whew. Okay. Right here. Okay. All right. Right here. All right. All right. Okay. Right. What you tend to do okay is look to the past but that upside down past that you have won't help you you need to turn it the opposite way because that's that's why sometimes you're in, in a bit of a state you need to turn everything the right way it's like you've you've when you think about things instead of looking at it the right way you turn it all the wrong way and it just doesn't look right okay you have to understand that 
when when you're reading, looking at things, and things from the past do present themselves again, those things from the past are not going to be prominent in your future. Okay. Stop. Uh, what's the word? Stop. Comparing, that's the word I was looking for. Stop comparing with the past, with the now, okay? Because everybody is different. Everybody has a different way of looking at things. People have a different way of taking life on board, you know? One person might have something that they can offer and then they run away because it was going too far. The one that you're hoping to be with will um, have different traits and bring some of the things that you want forward. Yeah? And life will be more palatable, much easier for you to take Okay, live it, live your life, okay, don't let it take you down the wrong path. You've got to make sure that where you're going, what you're aiming for, you know, that you go and do. I, 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 I don't know what I'm looking at here, but I, I do get, it's like a new job or or something that's going to help you become that new person, you know, and make you and let you live your life a little bit more, you know, because there's going to be some learning. So yeah, it's it's a new job, and you've got to learn how to operate, understand, and take it forward. Because this is something you've most probably wanted for a long time. It's like you've been sitting back. And you want now want to take it forward. You and you're up for the for a challenge, okay, of some sort. Okay, you want to see how far you can take yourself in life. But like I say, with certain things, you have to be careful. You have to understand that looking into the past isn't good for you, okay, because it's not going to help with you moving forward. Yeah. You've got to realise that some things you might lose, okay? You might lose certain things, okay? But that certain thing or certain things will help you again to take you onto the next part of your journey, yeah? When you lose something, you gain something somewhere else, okay? So you will always gain from losing, okay? You'll always gain from losing. And you, you, as a person, need to take this on board because, you know, there's a lot of people that can't do what you do. They haven't got the inclination. They haven't got the, the focus that you can have. Okay, but when you're looking at trying to change too much too quick, yeah, or trying to bring the past to now, I, I, I don't know why I keep going back to the past, but the past seems to be focusing on everything that you do. It it's like the past is is um, stopping you again. It's just the past, the past, the past. And I don't know why, yeah? You, you've just got to channel your energies to now, to the future, to now, yeah? You've got to make sure that you've, you're doing this now. Because, like I said, you've basically got to put the past in the bin, okay? Because that wasn't a very good past, okay? You've got to take that away you've got to take that out of your mind yeah
because all the new people, I am also getting with this as well, that there'll be a bit of spiritual help, okay? And they'll guide you through. Um, and, I, and I don't normally do this thing on, a, on like a mini reading, but I see like a little old lady that's basically grabbing your arm and moving you forward. And from, she's from the spirit world or from from uh, from from like the physical, but some some lady wants to really really drag you forward because she can see what's happening, and she's been trying to do this for a long long time, and she's just not going to give up. She is going to be there and, until you start to understand that your life can be a lot better by moving forward and not looking to the past all the time. Okay, you've got to join up with people in the same situation. Yeah, you've got to join your life and pieces of a jigsaw together. Okay, you've got to join these pieces together because you, again, are going to be something special to yourself and to other people. And also, don't worry about the funding because the funding will come with the training the learning of new positions in jobs and things like that because you're clever enough to do these things okay okay and you know you're clever enough to do them but you've just got to make sure that you do the right training to get there okay but you'll be fine and just keep going just keep going, okay? But you will be fine. You will be fine, okay? Just like I keep saying, stop looking to the past. Stop looking there because the future will look bright for you if you take it on board, okay? So thank you. Thank you, Madhu. I hope you enjoyed that and um, thank you for sharing this. And uh, thank you for, you know, coming on to our little show. Pardon me. Um, but just thank you for being there for us today. And I hope it all resonated with yourself. Thank you. You take care and keep going. Never give up. Yeah, take 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 it forward. So thank you. Whew. Thank you. Hmm. Yep, Silvana. Yeah, um I just want to let everyone know what um I've just posted the links to both our pages. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with either myself or with Paul, uh, please message this page and let us know who you would like to have the reading with and we'll send you details of how the readings work and schedule an appointment for you. Uh, you'll find the links to both our pages uh, pasted in the comments. Um, I'm just getting now uh, the link to our a Facebook channel, which we go live on there as well, just so that everyone, um, if they want to join us there, I'll just put that in. Okay. Now I've um, okay. Now I have. Um, like from time to time we do go live on our YouTube channel um, with the same format that we have here on Facebook. Um, you know, having a, you know, we have a great chat and some readings. If you'd like to join us when we go live on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Now the link is in the comments. Don't forget to click on the bell so that you are notified when we go live. Um, Okay. 
Right. Um, okay. So, Autumn, are you still on? I'll just check if um, Autumn is still on. Autumn's a, you've she's made a donation. So, yes. Thank you so much for that donation, Autumn. Um, yes, thank you. Would you like a reading here in the comments? It's a mini reading. Or if you've got a Zoom login, you can come on the Zoom and we can do a mini reading for you and we can see you. Um, so just let me know what you'd prefer, if you'd like the comments or if you'd like to come on Zoom. So you've said yes. Do you mean yes in the comments or you want to come on Zoom? Yeah, um, and, and thank you to Madhu for the wonderful comments that she's leaving too. It's it's nice that we can, uh, you know, uh, you know. Okay, that's all right, Autumn. So um, I'll um, start pulling out some cards for you. Yes. Okay, yes, thank you, Autumn, again for your donation. Thank you. Um, yeah, and Sharon also. So, you know, um, but looking at all the wonderful people that have been on there so far, wow, it's been a, lots of great energy, lots of great energy. Yeah, and it, it just makes the show work so well. If we're all in that same energy, you know, everything works. <laughs> it just works so well. Not not just for us, for all of you, because that energy comes from you, but then we pass it back out and give you the best reading that we can. So, yeah. So thank you so much for just being there. Thank you for all being you, you know. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. <laughs> it, it, it's amazing that, uh, you know, I didn't realise when I first got this gift, I'd be doing so many great things for all these people. I knew I knew what it involved, but I didn't realise I'd be doing so much for all you wonderful people out here today and all the other shows that we do, you know, and all the people that I meet out and about. But I love it every single day. And it makes, if I can help one or two people per day, wow, it helps my life, helps their life. You know, gives them a bit of a clearer mind. And, uh, yeah, and it, it just helps all of us together, you know. But, uh, yeah, uh, if you, uh, um, you know, and it is, just, it is just an amazing thing just for, for all of us. We all just need to take on board what life is and not think it, what it should be, yeah, because some people don't realise that life is easy, or not easy, sorry, yeah, but uh, thank you. Are you ready there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so um, if any of you want to book a private reading with myself or, or Silvana, you know, please message this page and let us know who you would like the reading with. Um, and then we can send you the details of how the readings work. And then we can schedule a appointment for you. Um, you'll find the links on uh, to both of our pages in the comments, you know? Cause, so if you want to hear about more um, or and have a, longer reading as such and not just a mini reading. These mini readings are for just, you know, just to let you know certain things. But a full reading will help you more and we can go into more. Okay. So if you'd like a like a reading through from myself or Savannah, like I say, you know, just let us know. Uh, message the page, message this page. And then we can make an appointment with you. Okay. Because we both see this page. So, or whatever page we're, we're 
um, doing a live from. So thank you, thank you for whoever makes it on board. So right, sorry, Sorana. I've just pulled some cards out for autumn, um, but just before I, I do that, uh, Francesca. I can't remember where you're from because um, we we do we're doing the live for me. I'm in Australia, so for me it's Saturday and Sunday. So I'm not sure, like for you, if it ends up being Friday and Saturday night. Um, so I just can't. Um, oh my God! Don't tell me anything, Autumn. Don't tell me anything because. I just saw that and I've actually pulled out cards that are, are pointing to that as well. Um, I'll show you what I've pulled out because uh, I was in the UK. Okay, Francesca, for you then, we'll be doing the show your Friday night and your Saturday night. So, um, yes. Yeah, so for you, it, we're doing um, for you Friday night and Saturday night, both nights. Hey, no, hang on. Yeah. Is, is it Paul? Is that right? Friday night and Saturday night in the UK, the next two shows? Yeah, Friday and Saturday night, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Friday and Saturday um, night. Yeah. Uh, Francesca, uh, sorry, uh, Autumn. Yeah. Oh, if Don't tell me anything yet. <laughs> Because it has all come out in the cards. <laughs> um, I've pulled out the time to go card. And the time to go card, it's all about endings. Um, it, it, it's, you, you'll see in the picture here, like with the angel, with the light lighting the pathway in front of them, you know, and just going that way. It, it, it's an, an indication that, you know, it's just the cycle of life, you know, where something has to end. There, there, there is a beginning for something else. But um, I feel because I've also pulled out. You're going to be. You're going to spin out when you see this autumn. I've pulled out the comfort card for you as well. And I was about to tell you, I want to give you a big hug because I feel like your heart has been broken. And then you just said that. So, um, you know, it's. It's the the spirit and energy that you have around you. They actually have you in an embrace. They have you. Um, they're like protecting you and comforting you. They're trying to help you to heal. Um, you'll find here that um, the way that I'm guided for you. Say I've got the bodies of water card, and like just in the 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 way that I've put this in the spread, this would indicate to me that. Um, spending time around something like with water is a way um, that will be able to help you to heal and um, it will um, and when I say water you don't really even if you're not near some water and or an ocean you can meditate or have some music with the sound of an ocean um, that I feel would be very soothing for you and would help you but um, I, I need to tell you to listen to your, the messages that you're getting from your body about uh, a, another person or situation. Um, if it, there's someone around you, um, some people would call them energy vampires um, that is actually draining you. Uh, you need to be cautious. Um, you know, if you feel like uncomfortable or feeling drained, you need to step away from these people. Um, you'll feel that if you move forward, you will start to become more energized and will start healing. But um, that's what I'm getting for you at the moment. So it's really all about healing now. And with you, it is um, just the, the soothingness of the ocean, of water um, and meditation. What's a sauna steamer? Are you getting a sauna? Don't make me jealous. I love saunas. <laughs> I, I used to have saunas. Uh, what is this? Are you actually getting a sauna, um, Autumn? 
Oh, my goodness, that's the worst, Autumn. Yeah, that's the worst. And that very painful, very painful, um, that feeling of being betrayed. Um, and even within your... Uh, uh, it's not a very good feeling. It, it will... I'm trying not to listen. It will take you some time to heal. and um, But don't stay around people that are toxic. Um, look after yourself and um, you will get through this. You will get through this, trust me. But um, I hope that that helps you. And um, we'll see what Paul can get for you as well. Mm. Yes. Um, yeah. Hello, Autumn. Nice name. I like that. Um, I like that name. Thank you uh, for coming to our little show and uh, getting a little reading from mini reading from myself and Silvana. Right, let's see what I can get with you. Let me see what I can get with you. Oh. Okay, okay. As a as a. There's a lot of laughter there, but again, like I've been saying to a couple of people today, it's like you, you step back. When it's like pe certain people don't want to... It's like they're, they're in control of who you are, okay? It's like whoever it is is telling you, don't do that, don't do that, okay? So your happiness isn't making other people happy okay and as Sylvana said okay you know you there's a there's a bit of um there's some things in there that you need to understand that will bring you forward so this is why i do believe i'm picking up on the learning side okay to move yourself forward You've got to be happy, okay? But the learning side will move you forward even further, okay? You have to make sure that you don't listen to all those people, I, okay? I, I'm, you most probably saw me stick my fingers in my ears because I don't want to hear things. I, I'm not reading any of the comments, so I don't know what's being said here, okay? But you need to move away from certain people because those people are taking your life down, down the wrong path, okay? They're taking you away from your path. You have now got to believe where you're going because, you know, you've got to basically become the you that you're supposed to be, okay? There's going to be a lot of movement in your life, not in the sense of moving, it's more the the movement of you know movement of jobs and different places that you need to um, be okay to take you further than you've ever been. A lot of this learning is gonna ups not upset you, but it will make you understand that people that were looking at you and making you up, upsetting you behind in the past will now you know you'll understand why you had to go through that path because we have to go through bad things to get to the good things sometimes in life well a lot of the times in life it depends on how long you want to be in that bad situation okay you have to make sure that the situations that are making you feel not so good are short and the good things in life are massive you know you've got to make sure that if you can if you can control how much uh you can uh how much happiness comes out that's that's the best way of doing it all right you've got to take you know You've got to take things on board with everything that's inside you. 
you have this gift. I can't understand why so many people can't do this, but it's just one of them things, you know, taking everything on board and bringing the new one out, new of you out and bringing the new you out. It's like you've got a, you've got a, a, a suit on which you want to rip off and the new you just flows out. Okay, I said this to a, a lot of people. Okay, but you've got to, for some reason, move over um, or away from something that is just, it's just like blocking everything that you're trying to achieve. I know the past, the, pe the people um, and people like that are just stopping you, but this is where you've got to move over towards a new, oh, a new area of your journey, okay? That journey will change your life forever, okay? Because today could be the day that you change your life, okay? Believe in yourself. Don't doubt yourself, yeah, okay? Because you've got to make sure that when you do this, you've got to take it on to the best of your ability, okay? You've got to take it on with open, you know, with... Take the bull by the horns, basically. You've got to take it by the horns and just go for it because you are going to take, you're going to see things that you've never experienced. You're going to understand, you're going to understand things. There's so much learning that you've got to take on board. Okay. But never sit back and let it, because once the momentum starts, you've got to make sure that you take it forward and don't look back. Some, sometimes the past can be helpful, but this past is not, okay? But you've got to make sure that you bring in the right spirit that help you, okay? There, there seems to be a lot of, I don't know why, negative spirit around you at the moment. I, I do believe it's because you've been down, you've been depressed or, you know, uh, or something like that, and you now need to take yourself out of that situation and start to give yourself a chance, yeah? You've got to understand your life. You've got to understand your life more, okay? And what your life is, is how you, how you look at it, yeah? We can tell you the words, but you have to move it forward and you have to take it. Wow. But once you open that door, it's like... I've used this analogy before where if the curtains are closed, you don't go nowhere. If the curtains are open, you can see what's ahead of you. Yeah, and that's what you need to do. You need to open those curtains and take it forward. It's the simplest analogy that I could come up with. <laughs> yeah, it's the simplest analogy. But I hope that resonated with yourself, Autumn, and uh, everything that I've I've said and Savannah said, you know, was okay with you. And uh, thank you for letting me read you and thank you for being here and part of our little show. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Um, yeah, just keep going. Just keep yeah. going. Thank you. Um, yeah, Tom, that's okay. If, you, um, if you're in touch with Cherie, uh, she may fall it because I know you guys are three hours in front of us and it's almost midnight for me here. So I can imagine what time it must be for you, nearly three in the morning. If you're in touch with her, Tom, can you please let her know next time because she's made a donation. So next time she's on, um, we'll, we'll um, do the reading for her then. Um, if you could please let her know. I, I can understand. I wouldn't be able to stay up till three of them. I don't know how you do it, Tom. You're always up late. <laughs> do you have naps during the day? I don't know how you do it. But um, thank you. But, yeah, I appreciate if you let Cherie know. Uh, yeah, she's definitely gone. Um, hi, Melody. Excellent. 
But um, I just want to thank everyone for coming on. It's been fantastic having everyone on and joining us and sharing our live and, you know, talking to one another on the chats. It's been really nice. Oh, she's there. She's there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what happened? Did you go and get another cuppa, did you? Yeah. Uh, you're a night owl, Tom. Uh, did, so what did you do, Marie, uh, Cherie? Did you get a, um, did you go and get a cup of tea? Uh, so we're going to do a reading for Cherie. Cherie, do you um, want us to do the, um, you did, I was right. So what do you have, herbal tea or normal tea? But um, do you want us to do, the reading, uh, the mini reading for you in the comments here, or would you like to come and join us on Zoom? It'll yeah, make no, you, it'll, it'll make you famous. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, would you like, um, just let me know. Herbal tea tonight, super fruits. Okay. So what would you like to do? You can, you're most welcome if you like, if I can send you a link on here. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, go on, listen to Tom and come on Zoom. Come on, you can do it, Cherie. You can have your cuppa while you talk to us. But if you're not, if you don't feel comfortable, it's okay. I'll just wait while you're deciding again. <laughs> no, no, thank you to uh, Autumn, by the way, for a great comment. Um, and thank you, you know, to Cherie um, as well. I know Tom, you'll have for to her donation. Yeah. Yeah, thank you to, to everyone that's donated. Thank you. Yeah, um, I think he wants to do it on here. So... Okay, Tom, one day you'll have to come on Zoom and we'll do a reading for you on Zoom. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it's nice. It's a different concept that we have. And, uh, yeah, it, it's just, you yeah, know, it's just another way of reading somebody if we, if we have them on Zoom, you know. But we are so thankful to everyone that's, that's here today and helps us on our, you know, on our little show. All you have to do, you just need your email address and you create a login. You don't need, you don't need to subscribe or anything. And then I send you a link um, and then you just come on and we see you. <laughs> and we can actually, well, for me, I like it because I, I can connect better as well. Um, Yes. Okay. Yes, it's uh, uh, yeah because it's it's strange for us when we when we do this, you know. Um, I remember even before we started these Zoom meetings or Facebook. Zoom. You want to do Zoom, Cherie? Okay. I think you've already sent a message in the past to the page. Um, I don't remember if it was here on this one. Let me just have a look. Um, okay, let me just have a look. If it was this page you've previously sent a message to. Uh, no, I think it, it was my own page that you sent it to. Yeah. Um, oh, hang on. I might still be able to send you the link from my page. Uh, let me just give me one moment. Where are you, Cherie? I know that I received a message. <laughs> you know she's there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, here, I found it. I found yeah. it in my inbox. All right. I'm just going to do the um, the invite and send it to you.
Okay. Right, there we go. I've sent you the invite, Cherie, on Messenger. You actually, with Zoom, Tom, it's not something you need to download. You can just do it on your browser, um, on the internet. But um, I've sent Cherie the link anyway. Okay. Um, okay, Melody, please stay on. Um, we've received your donation as well. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we're just doing a reading for, um, for Cherie. I'm waiting for her to come on Zoom. Uh, Melody, let me know if you would like to come on Zoom for the reading or if um, you want to do it on comments. Yes, it's, it's, it's nice that, you know, another donation. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, oh, did, did you just say Cherie's on her way? Um, <sighs> yes. Uh, let me just check if she's in the waiting room yet. Not yet. Okay, because that would be fun. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> waiting for it. Tom, are you watching? Are you watching Cherie come on? Because <laughs> I can't see it. It's what you can see, you know. Yeah. Melody, stay on, please, and we'll do your reading after Cherie. But let me know if you want to come on Zoom for us to do the reading for you or if you're happy for us to do it on comments. Okay, here she comes. She's coming on now. Hey, we've got iPhone. Oh, phone's connecting to audio. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> wow. Hey. There she is. There's a, there's a face. <laughs> Where's your cup of tea? Are you drinking your tea? I'm drinking water now. Oh, you finished your tea already? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, gorgeous. Oh, what's his name? Her name's Nala. Oh, it's a girl, Nala. That's nice. She's so cute. <gasps> Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, look at that. Look at the way the way she looks up at you when you, you were scratching under, under her chin there. Beautiful. Look, she wants to kiss you. That's yeah. so cute. Now, so, so you're from New Zealand, yes? Yes. So you must be knackered. Three in the morning oh. then now. <laughs> I'm wrecked. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you know, we're, we're grateful that you, you, you stayed on and thank you for your, your donation as well. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, so what, what, what do you... Are the only ones that can see me, right? Yeah. Oh. oh. oh no. What about all the what about all the spirit around me? They they can oh, see yeah. me. Too. They're all right. They're all right. <laughs> no. Oh, it's so, it's I, so just, weird. I'm watching you both on the screen, and now you're both talking to me direct. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> there you go. Doesn't it make it different? It makes it so different, doesn't it? You know. I feel, it makes me feel special. Well, but there you go. You're all special to us. Everybody's special. Definitely. Everybody. We don't just say that. It's, it just it, it is. You lot are special because you keep our show going, you know, um, which is amazing. Is. I can't turn it off when you are on. Oh, well, well, you stand there and go, I can't turn them off. I won't go away. <laughs> I, I, I hear things. I just can't seem to put the phone down. I just wait till you finish. No, we are so appreciative of that. You know, um, we, we're so grateful that people like yourself do come onto the show. We get so many great comments and, and just everything. So what do you think of the concept anyway? What do you think of our concept of the show? 
I think it's great. That's why yeah. I still watch. No, because what? Because we try and involve everybody. Yeah, I like that. I like that because it, you feel involved, and, and and it just oh, I can't explain it. But it, I I prefer it instead. Of, you feel more involved instead of just there alone. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and this uh, is why we like people talking to each other. You know, it's like a little. It's like a chat room a within a, yeah, like a little family. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what, that's what we call you. We, we call you our family. Yeah, because it does have that Yeah, because I've seen people talking to each other today already, and it's it's amazing. So, right, are you ready there, Silvana? Yes, I am. Yeah, right, yeah. Okay, um, now Sheree, I know that I've done a reading for you before, but I don't remember what I've said. I, like, I, I never remember what I've done in the readings before. So, I, I like this is I'm just approach, approaching this as it's come being given to me to give to you. Um, now, what I've got for you, and I actually I think I had this for the previous lady, is the time to go card, and. Um, this is all about an ending. There's something coming to an end and, uh, or has already ended. And it's like there is a, I'm guided to, to show you that there is a pathway that is being lit in front of you so that you can move forward and have a new beginning with something else. Um, I'm not sure before if I've mentioned to you about um, writing, writing your thoughts down in a journal, whether you already do that. But I, I'm getting this now because I, I have been given the creative writing card, which is all about um, writing all our thoughts in a journal, like after meditation, your experiences or dreams that you're having. Um, it's just, you know, for reflection. But... I need to tell you to give yourself over to prayer and meditation. Um, you know, you'll be heard throughout the universe and um, you'll find that answers and support will come to you. So you are being heard. You have the energy that is reaching out to the universe. So you are being given support. You will have the support that you need. Um I'm not really getting much else except uh, I've got this one. This is beautiful, this card. Yeah. Um, this card, it's all about doing things for yourself. Um, and I feel perhaps what I'm getting is you might do or go overboard for other people. You might do too much for other people. And this is more to for you to go out and like enjoy the sun, enjoy things for yourself and just do things for yourself. But that's all I'm getting for you, um, Cherie. But I'll see what Paul can get for you. Okay. Thanks. Don't say anything till the end. Don't say anything yet. yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sticking my fingers in my ears else. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Like I said a minute ago, thank you for coming on and supporting us and everything. Yeah, it's my little bit of spiel before I start. You know that. <laughs> right, let's see what I can pick up with you. <sighs> okay. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> you, right, the first thing I've caught, wow. There's a great energy running through you. I know that. It's a... But it's um, sometimes, it's like a bit of nervousness as well. It's like a bit of nervousness. I'm nice probably just picking you up from now. But there's a lot of nervousness in whatever you do. If you find that you're going to do something, you've got, oh, panic, panic, panic. It's like the panic button's pressed. You've got to, you've got to stay away from that panic button. And you've got to come, with, uh, come to the, the big green button that says, I'm okay, I'm calm everything's going to be fine, yeah? Everything's going to move forward. Everything's going to be brilliant for me. I don't need to panic because my head will be clearer. My head will be so much clearer if I don't panic. 
sometimes you need that little bit of panic as well, but not as much as what you give, what you give off. It's like if you could, you could get. Um, you would love if you're in a, in that situation. You'd love to get in your car and just drive away, <laughs> just so that you weren't in that situation again. You know, you just want to get in your car and just drive. Okay, but you got to look forward. Okay, you got to look again. You've got to look forward and take everything on board, and looking into. I don't know. Um, looking into a book, I don't think works for you. You need to be doing it, okay? You need this, these things that you need to be doing. Are, uh, you need to be physically doing them. I think you're like myself. Books and things like that don't help. <laughs> you just want to be out there and doing, which is that's what I see with you, okay? You've never got to give up, okay? They, they never give up on what you're good at. Because I think there's, there's something that you're really good at and you just need to bring it out of the... It's like you've already placed it in, in the back room, okay? It's like you've already placed it there and you what? And it's like, oh, I'll get to that another day. I'll, I'll get to that another day. And I, I'm thinking, no. That's what you need now. It's, you know, it's like your little brain box as well. You know, the ones that you stick at the back of your head. Some of these thoughts you need to bring forward <laughs> because, you know, you need to uh, take these ideas and make them more. Um, when you bring them forward, they'll be they'll help you, but they'll help somebody else as well. OK, because if you're not helping you, those people aren't going to get your they're not going to get any help. They might, you're not going to be there as a teacher, but they'll learn from you being out there. They'll learn from you just being you. OK, because the inside of you. Is an amazing thing. OK, you've got so much happiness in there. Just don't, come on, get it out there. You know, you've got a cheeky face. You've got a cheeky smile. You've got somebody, you know, but there is, I said this to a lady, uh, someone earlier, someone is actually help trying to drag you forward from the spirit world. You know, they're trying to drag you forward. They're trying, they're trying, it's like a mother figure. I'm not saying it's your mum, but it's like somebody that wanted had your had you uh, oh I can't even think of the word everything that they did for you was for you and not for anybody else it was ha it, they wanted wanted to throw as much happiness to you as possible even though they had other people that they could but they treated you more like a a daughter this this person treated you like a daughter I'm it's like a like an old uh, it's like a grandma type figure this one i'm not but she treated you like a mother or the yeah yeah focus on what you're doing lift your life up yeah it's never over until you say it's over okay you are going to be something great in a lot of people's eyes and i've already said this yeah and keep going just keep going because, again, those people, I don't know why I'm saying this. If, if, you, if you were in a car and you're on your spiritual journey, which seems to be in the background, I think that's what you've got to bring out, bring out of yourself, okay? You've got to bring that back out and start utilising it again because, again, I'm getting... I don't know why I get cards and crystals and all that stuff as well. I think you're similar to my friend. She does all like the crystal balls and all that stuff. I'm quite lucky I don't need the tools. You know, I just talk basically. My, but you 
have so much to look forward to. Yeah, there's a lot of learning. There's a lot of curved balls as well, if you know what that means, where where it's gonna it starts to happen and it seems to take you somewhere else. But you've got to try and drag yourself back because you know at the moment your road's like this, your path's all over the shop. And you've just got to make sure that your path's right and bring these things forward, look forward, never give up, focus, lift yourself, because lift will help, you know, and it's never over, never over. Just think where you're going and take it on board. Yeah, because there will be somebody that comes in and trains you, okay? Well, whatever you do in life, somebody will give you some help. You've got to look for that, that person or those people. So I can see that you're really, really tired. So, And that's not just you. I can see it on Savannah's face as well. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, um, yeah. But I hope that resonated with yourself. Um, it's, I know it's only a shortish one, but but uh, we, want to, we want you to get to bed and get some sleep. Um, but let us know what what you thought of that, please, from myself and Silvana. Um, um, the, the card, Savannah, what you pulled with the son, the lady wearing the dress, yes. you, you pulled that for me last time, and I, I do resonate with that a, a lot. I do wow. have... Um, yeah, trouble looking after myself. I'm really good at taking care of other people, mm. but real crap at it. But also, um, Paul, when you said uh, it's interesting, the the motherly figure that you said. Mm -hmm. um, now my brain is like, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Because. Yeah, it's just bugging me, but I've never really had a woman pa pass away that's close to me. I know. Yes. They might not be from the spirit world. They could be physical. You know, somebody. Oh, right. You know, they, they, you know somebody who treat, treats you like a mother, but they're not your mother. If right. you understand that. Now... Now, I sorry, I thought that, yeah, sorry. Now it clicks but in. <laughs> it's, the, it's clicked. But everything else you guys said, it's, it's sort of the similar of what you guys read last time to me. Mm. And and it's all very true. Even Tom, me and Tom had a chat about it last time as well and how we talked about how you guys were spot on. And, yeah, and yeah you, you are both very, very bang on. And I'm just like sitting here, like just... <laughs> Wow, and because this is my first ever reading ever, apart from the one that you guys did for me last Thursday, this is my first ever reading ever in life. <laughs> so okay. it's just and on Zoom as well. well, and on Zoom. So I feel really <laughs> overwhelmed, and because I screen recorded this, and I can't wait to watch it back, and you know, because oh, things always when you listen to them again. So yeah. I. Thank you very much. Like and Savannah, when you said something's coming to an end, yeah. Um, but I just asked, did that have to do with love? Because I did, like, literally just yeah. two days ago, just end. Yeah, that's the feeling I got from it. Um, but I, I didn't feel like we. I did something similar with another lady, but with her, I felt like it really shattered her. But you're very strong. That's a, I, the energy that I get from you is you're very, very strong. And there, it was to do like um, so, uh, some type of relationship. Um, but you'll find that because of the end of this, there was like an angel that was like going, da -da, like going ahead with um, a lot. But sorry, that's the way it comes to me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but you know, they were lighting the way. And that was like this ending is actually good because you're, 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 it's lit, lighting the way for you to move forward. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Mm-hmm. Learned the lesson time to move on and like truly like hearing your guys words it's it's just going to put the bullet in my butt that I need <laughs> like you know like just give me a bit of a push and that's because yeah. I was really feeling quite deflated and like oh. meh and what it why what it, you know do you want know what I mean so you've given me some hope yeah because because normally um someone at least comes through and say right Let's give her a kick up the bum. And I'd actually say yeah. it, but like, no, no one actually did say that this time because you knew, yeah. you, you already knew the answer to it. Yeah. You know, you knew that they knew you were going to say the bullet up the bum, as it were. <laughs> so, yeah. so, tired. Words were all mad. No, I was. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that was, I enjoyed that. I enjoy everybody's reading, but that, I enjoyed that because it was on here as well. So, Thank you. It was good. We got to meet you. We got to meet Tom now. Oh yes. <laughs> so yes, you have to. Oh. You said to, you said to him, "I did it. Now it's your turn." Yeah. <laughs> oh, you wait. He will. He will. Yeah. 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 But but thank uh, you, right. This is awesome. It's made my night. Made my day. I should say. Oh, yeah. good. Good. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. It's been a pleasure having you on, Cherie. And it was lovely to meet you. Um, but you're most welcome to whenever we have lives, even come on and chat. You know, it's all about us just all getting along together and having a chat and everything. So, because yeah, I think that, that, that I think the next two shows are uh, more your time, so you'll be okay. Yeah, the next two shows we're doing, Cherie, is my time. <laughs> it's actually Saturday, it'll be Saturday and Sunday because I'm in Melbourne. So we're three hours behind you, yeah. Uh, but it's in the middle of the day, so I don't know. Like, if oh, it's... that'll be much, yeah. Yeah, mm. you'll get it if I'll you're on the, the notifications. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, you'll get the notifications. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be it'll be late for me then. <laughs> oh, well, your t- time to feel sleepy then. <laughs> I'll survive. I'll survive. <laughs> yeah. Somehow. But no, I, I've enjoyed that. So, but have we got Melody to come on or? Yeah, we've got but, Melody. So, sorry Wait. to push you. No. <laughs> but That's thank fine. You. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. No, no, no. We love your beautiful comments. So thank you. See thank you. you. You take care. You take thank care. You. See you. Bye. 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 Okay. That was fantastic. No, I enjoyed that. Thank you. It was nice to see her. Oh, she's back Hello. again. Hello. Is she Hello. Back? <laughs> You're back again. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it's all right. Now. She's trying to Hi. work out how to You were lucky you weren't <laughs> swearing. <laughs> I'll just show myself to the door. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> oh dear. Um, that was funny. That was great. I love that. Oh, it was nice. Uh, Melody. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think that's what you're right, Tom. We maybe we were going to get more messages for it, but um, <laughs> Melody, are you still on? Um, did you decide how you want to do it? Do you want to come on Zoom or do you want to do it in the comments? Melody. Hiya, Bernadette. I'm just waiting for Melody if she wants to. Yeah, you're ready for Zoom. Okay. Can you please, uh, with Facebook, I need to get a message from you so that I can respond to you first. So can you please send a message to this page on Messenger? You're ready for your close-up. Good on you. (laughs) We'll finally get to meet you too. Send a message to this page. Just put blah, 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 and I'll send you a link to the Zoom so you can come on. Um, I'll get the invite ready. 
Oh, I can't wait to meet Melody. She's been she she's been on with us for a while now. We finally get to meet her. Definitely, definitely. Now I'm waiting just for her message to the page. Uh yeah, she sent a message. Okay, hold on. Two shakes. Two shakes. It used to be a program years ago. What? I know that was two. That, no, that was two shake turtle. <laughs> oh, come uh, on, my word. Oh. Okay. Whoopsies. Wait a minute. In <laughs> copy invitation. Oh. All righty. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Mm. Right. Melody, I've sent it to you. I, I need so, a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's got a link, Melody. Yes, thank you. I got your message. I've sent you the invite. So you can either use a link or use that meeting ID with um, the password that or the passcode that's come with it. And I'm going to keep an eye out for you so I can let you in. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, we'll get to meet Melody now. Mm. Mm. Definitely. Oh. Oh. Um. Yeah, I'm just waiting. She's not here yet. Okay, just for everyone that's waiting. Um, we are about to do a Zoom mini reading. We're about to do a Zoom, a Zoom mini reading. Mm. Melody, <laughs> Melody, I've just admitted her into the room. She's coming on. She's coming on. <laughs> There's Melody. Melody. Oh, we've got the name. Let's see yeah, if we can see the person. Maybe it's still connecting. Yeah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Whoa, we get to see you. <laughs> Good morning. Well, good afternoon, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Is it after? It's morning for you, isn't it? It's morning for you. Well, 9.20 now. Yeah. Melody, could I just ask on your face, if you've got your face open, just to mute the sound, otherwise we're going to get all the feedback and we won't get understand, like we won't hear it properly or you won't hear us. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because, because all we could hear was like the repeat of what we were all saying. Oh, wow. I can't believe we finally met you after all this time. I know we all, well, I started out with your eyes like when like, it was like three of us watching and then the YouTube channel. I follow you guys on YouTube as well. Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you for your donation, by the way. Thank you. Now, I'm just pulling out cards for you at the moment, oh. Melody. Yeah. Oh. So, Melody, if you played any more, you know, lately... No, I have not. Um, no. Last next time did they try to play Uno? They played so, the drinking Uno. And, oh. I, and I don't drink like that no more. So did not want to participate. Yeah, Could, afford no. Could not afford to lose. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna ask you the same question as I ask everybody else. What do you think of the concept of the show? What do you I think you guys are helping a lot of people, especially with spirituality, because it's like you wake up one day and there's nobody to ask. You know, not unless you are born into it. Most people aren't because you just wake up on the regular old tubes out of nowhere. It's like, hey, stuff is coming in and you don't know which you don't know what to do with it or how to go about finding that information about it. And then it's like when we share out. People who are just scrolling through Facebook, they come across, you know, random stuff come up on Facebook. Or you can go to the videos. 
And they get the opportunity to be able to watch. Even if they don't want to comment or participate, they get to watch. Or as long as they want to watch them, you got those who finally speak up, then they actually get the help or a message yep. that brings some kind of closure, some kind of acceptance to what they're going through right then and understand that, hey, they're not, it's not demonic. <laughs> the world That's thinks it. everything <laughs> here lately. But since the organic stuff is going on, well, we're not witches no more. We're sorcerers. <laughs> We're, we're good for a lot of people, and there's a lot of us. <laughs> you know, we, we try our best. We're not, we're not, um, um, you know, yeah, we just do our best for everybody. You know, we, we, and that's all we can do. You know, whatever messages come through is what you're going to get. <laughs> you know, a lot of people want certain people to come through, um, and it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Um, you know, you still got the ones that still think it works like that, but hey ho, as they say. Right, are you ready to run? Yeah, I'm ready. Sorted. I'm ready, ready, ready. Okay, this is what I've got for you, Melody. So, what we're going to do is I'll um, let you know what I've got from the cards, but don't any feedback yet. And then Paul, because that way Paul doesn't want to hear anything either. So wait for him and then after you can give us the feedback. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, what I've pulled out for you is all the all is well card. So um, in your case, what that signifies for me is that um, it, it's like you feel like you want you know what you want to do or you, you want things to hurry up to, to get to what you want to do, but um, everything is good as it should be right now and um, it, it will, it's happening in the timing that it needs to. It will all be aligned um, and you'll find that um, as everything works out, you'll understand why you've had to wait. Um, you'll understand why it's had to go this way, but it, it won't be clear to you yet. But there is um, like an underlining plan, an underlining pathway that's already been set out for you. Now, um, so I'm getting it here as well. I've got the Easy Does It card. It's the same thing here. Um, and like what this is, that everything is occurring in perfect timing. We can't, things just can't be rushed on. Now, um, I, I have a, what I'm getting here is that there is a blockage in you in regards to um, receiving love. Um, I feel that... Um, I'm not sure, like, if you've been hurt perhaps in the past, but I'll just show you what I've done. It's surrendering your fear of intimacy, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean intimacy. Um, this is more like opening your heart to someone, um, opening and being ready to, to be with someone, um, you know, in a relationship, opening your heart to them. So I, I'm getting that... Um, from here, what you what needs to be done is releasing maybe a pattern that you're going through, uh, releasing that and allowing yourself to be open and letting that person come in. Um, I've also got for you um, the garden part. The lady, see the lady in the garden. Um, what this means is, what I'm getting for you that this means is from all this. Um, and once you're able to release um, release yourself and open yourself to receive the love coming in, there will be, you'll have a lot of love and beautiful things grow from it. It is something that will blossom. So that's what I've got for you. Um, we'll see what Paul can get from, for you and then we'll get some feedback, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Melody again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing us and uh, donating again. But uh, let me see what I can get with yourself and we'll, we'll go from there. <sighs> yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Do you know, do you know the first thing I got? I got. I got someone with a pain right in their, right in the bottom of their belly. I don't know who that is. Somebody's been getting a pain. You know, like like the um like appendix type area. Sorry, somebody's been been getting some pain there that they need to get sorted. Very very sharpish. They need to get to the doctor on that one. But that I don't normally say things like that, but that that needed to be said. But uh, also, the pages of your life will turn, but not as quick as you'd like them to. Okay? At the moment, the pages of your life are just turning slowly, just so that you can learn and understand where you need to go. Okay? Some people, they just go like that, and they miss out what's in the middle. Okay? You need to take these pages and just you know just look at what you're what's been said and take on board what's been told to you from it seems like many sources many sources are trying to tell you these things you know not just from the spirit world from physical as well you know everybody is trying to give you messages okay everybody right and you need to be looking forward okay with these oh, with what you're being told because these messages aren't just to help you now they're to help you in the future with i get with a a job or something that you are looking to do it's like you're trying it's like a new venture as well it's like you want to try so many new things, but it's like you're cutting down on what you want to do. And it's like you're, it's like you're nearly there. It's like you've nearly filled in part of the jigsaw puzzle, you know, and that part will just suddenly start to appear. Because at the moment, it's like there's one specific area that you want to work on. It's like one specific area. Okay, don't worry about what, what's going on there because you'll be notified that you will be definitely notified that this is happening and it will work. Okay, you will definitely be notified. It's just how you take that information. It's how you take that information and um, where you take that information, how you take it and where you take it. Okay, but you, you, you'll understand it once it all starts to fit. Okay, you will understand it so much because I do believe you've already started to get these notifications. Okay, and there will be some timing as well. The timing is right. Okay, the timing is right for you. Okay, and I do believe that you've been waiting a long time for these things to happen, but now it's that time to take it forward. And to do all these new ventures, all these new things that you want to do, you know, well, that new venture, I should say, because that is what, you know, there's nothing else at the moment. It's like everything's just coming down to that one moment, <laughs> you know, that just one moment. So it's coming and it is here, but you've got to make sure that you take it to where you want to take it. And whatever and wherever you go, enjoy it. No, never let other people tell you you can't. You know, never let those people tell you that you can't do these things. Sometimes you need to relax. Sometimes you need to just, you know, just not give up. You know, never sit back and let things control you. It's your journey. It's your life. You go where you need to go. Okay? And make the rest of your life the best of your life. Okay? Okay? So, I, I, I'm sorry it's a short one, but you've got to, you know, give us give some feedback on that if it resonated with yourself. And thank you for letting me read you. Thank you for letting us read you. 
Uh, so now, now it's your turn. Well, thank you guys for reading me. And with the gardening card, I like literally garden. Like I love gardening. I have a lot of flowers. So when I seen it, I was like, so I'm thinking to myself, so girl, just chill, go with the flow, dig in your flowers, and it's going to come to you. It's going to come to you because you're grounded from digging in your flowers. You're going to be at peace. Yeah. And it's going to come. I just, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I I wanted a face, a, a live read with you guys, but I had a read last night and I literally had a read. I spoke to my shaman the day before. And I feel very content. Like life is very good at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, I only, I'm taking my last class for my degree. And I knew I already had a degree, even though they said I didn't have a degree. And they redid my courses and I already had a degree. So now I'm getting another degree. And I've been prolonging this class for since my grandmother passed in 2013, I dropped the class and I just never picked it back up. I'm almost finished and I'm actually passed it finally. Good. You know, it only takes four times sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm passing and my head is good to go. Um, I'm real content in life. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, it's usually, I wanna be in love. I want a house, dog kick fence. All that. I don't even, I just, I know that it's going to come. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I've set my boundaries and I've been telling people no and I'm not overgiving because I'm a giver. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you know, you've got that nice personality around you. I can see it. I can see it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you're doing very well, like with all the degrees that you're completing. Fantastic. Congratulations. Well Thank done. You, 13 years, but my wow. eye is doing ratings for the state. And, well, you know, coronavirus actually helped a lot of us. Like, a lot of the older people who were never going to retire from the government, <laughs> from the state yeah. job, they actually took retirement. So there's been openings. And I'm telling you, there's never hardly ever openings. Yeah. It works in a lot of people, for a lot of people that way, in their favor. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, we are grateful that you came through and let us read you. Thank you for your donation. And your your life will be amazing. And it is already. You, you've already told us this. You've already told us this. So, you know, keep going down that road. And it's like everything will fall into your lap as well. But what, what you're missing, you know, what you would like will eventually find you it's just hiding behind a hedge at the moment it's just hiding behind that hedge <laughs> and uh, every now and again someone just peeps out just to say hello mm. every now and again someone says hello and and it's just somebody and it'll be, it'll be so random it'll be unbelievable for you it will just happen. I'm waiting on it. Yeah, but that's the <laughs> thing. Yeah, and and, as, and as, I, as I say to a lot of people, if you if you look for it, you'll never find it because it you know you're because you're already looking for it. If you just let it go, let it flow, then you'll you'll be you'll you when it appears, you'll go wow. <laughs> you know, you'll get more out of it. That gave me cold chills because I actually just made my mind up about a week and a half ago. Quit looking. Like to quit working. Mm -hmm. Yep. See? Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm uh, but uh, no. Um, um well, I don't I don't know about Savannah. I need to I've got some other things I've got to do today. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on, Melody. It's been oh, great seeing you. you come on and everything. It's, it's and nice to have the face to the words. I know, I know. And you're most welcome anytime we come live. Just come on and have a chat or whatever, you know. And, join, and give us an update how you're going and everything. I will do so. And I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Yeah, y'all three hours apart. For, so me, it's still for, for me, it's afternoon. afternoon. And evening. So you yes. guys... Yeah, and thank, thank you. you.
Thank you, Melody. Thank you so, so much for, for yeah. doing this. We'll thank you. See you around next time. See you. You take care. Bye. 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 That was nice. I, yeah, that, you I know. to meet Melody. Yeah, everyone that that's been on today has been really nice. Yeah. You know, everybody that's been on here, it's been amazing. Yeah. So thank you to each and every one of you. Yeah. You know, but uh, it, it is time to shut down because uh, I'm going I'm to say this, I'm physically knackered. <laughs> yeah, same here. I am too. Uh, it's actually like going to one in the morning for me now. I know, so, I know. But I, I want to thank you. Um, I want to thank everybody. Uh, that has joined us, um, you know, the, everyone that's, you know, shared our live and has joined in the chats. And um, mm -hmm. I, I do apologise to anyone we haven't been able to get to to do the readings for, as you can see, you know, sometimes it's just physically impossible sometimes um, just to do everybody. But um, if you, you know, if, if you do want a guaranteed reading, um, you know, you can book a private reading with us. Or next time we come live, uh, if you'd like to um, come on the Zoom with us or um, just for a donation, we, we'll make sure that we read you before we go. So, but thank you so much. Paul, did you want to say anything before we go? I just want to say massive, massive thank yous to the people that have helped us today to, you know, to help them. You know, um, I, I've enjoyed today. I enjoy every, every, uh, live that we do every show that we do um you know and thank you for the donations thank you for like the shares thank you just for everybody being them you know and thank you to you also Savannah, for what thank you me. do and what thank you've you. done I also <laughs> say. yeah um right. and and i'm and i'm knackered <laughs> so, yeah. okay. but, so I'm that, say that, hi to everyone now that just so, means we've worked hard yeah so, Thank you all. Well, we're back here um, over the weekend. Um, some For some of you, it will be Friday and Saturday night. For others, Saturday and Sunday, depending where you are in the world. So we'll see you then. You take okay, care of yourselves. Bye.